What's up guys, it's Rob from Mangeek. And for today, we're going to be doing a very quick how to set up your Aver Media Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. All right, first of all, I just wanted to say this is one of the more reliable video capture cards. If you're not familiar with it, this is meant to capture your footage from your console, gameplay basically from your PlayStation, from your Nintendo Switch or whatnot. This is the thing to use. Whether you're a streamer, a content creator, in our case, we're media, this has definitely proven its worth for us. We wanna show you how to quickly set it up with your PlayStation, of course, you can definitely switch it up with whatever console you want. We'll show you right now. Check this out. Let's start. So basically, this is what's inside. Of course, it's a very compact design. Once it's all connected, this is the record. Hit it again to stop. It has various game modes. One that's connected to a PC, one that is for your direct recording into an SD card that is insertable here. And you have basically, uh, I believe this is volume control. And this, the last one, is just for 4K pass-through. And I'll be explaining all of that in a bit. Let's unbox what else is inside. So of course, you have your typical guide. There are only three kinds of cables with this. Now, the ones that you should concern yourself the most is the HDMI connector, as well as this which is what is going to give power or your connection to the device. There is a third one, but this is majority for audio. We're not going to get into it for this quick setup. This is more to get your Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus going for your setup. All right, always follow the logic that you want this HDMI connector to head in. Take note, this is a very, very short cord. If your console is using something that has a longer HDMI connector, you might want to save that HDMI for the one that'll connect to your TV or to your monitor, just so you get that kind of distance. For this one, for the short one, make sure that it heads to in. And this is what's going to be connecting to your console. Now, as for this PlayStation, for example, so if this is your typical console HDMI, what's now going to happen is that you will want this HDMI connector to connect to your HDMI. Basically, you're going to be forming a kind of circuit wherein the footage from here goes into your Aver Media. On the out port, put the normal HDMI cable in and the other end basically goes to your monitor or your TV. For this part here, this is where you will be wanting to put your microSD for your storage of your videos. Once again, that's because uh, the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus is capable of just recording at a push of a button, even without being hooked up to a PC. So once it's in place, what you want to do is on this end, plug for the connector. And depending on how you plan to use your Live Gamer Portable device. This other end either goes into the console for power, just to turn this on, or this will now go into your PC so that you can either live stream your sessions or you can do a direct recording into your PC. So once again, that will now depend on whether you want to do basically the no PC recording or if you want to do direct PC recording, you just go to the necessary uh, mode here. And yeah, we'll show you how this looks like right now. All right, so this is how the working setup goes. Like I said, the pass-through is happening right now. As you can see, if it's blue, this is now on the middle setting, which is just on recording. You can see that the gameplay, we're doing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot with this. It's how I initially showed you how it looks. If you want to record to your micro SD, all you need to do is just hit this. And if you see the light pulsing, that means that the recording is happening. Should it not be in a pulsing light like that, or it's something else, that means something is wrong. Either your micro SD is full, or you have firmware that's not updated. One thing that I did fail to mention a while ago was that aside from the normal hardware setup, it is very important that you hook up to the internet and follow the instructions on how to get this updated in terms of your firmware, in terms of everything else that's there. Aver Media has good guides online. All you need to do is just follow it. And once that's all set up, 
it should be working just fine for you. That concludes our little setup video for this. And if this was able to help you, be sure to just leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, of course, if you already haven't. And that's it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to just comment in the comment section below. We'll try to answer you. And yeah, this is definitely something that has helped us so much in our events. If you want something that's on the go, especially if you're a streamer, if you're a content creator, and you go from location to location, this might be a very good option for you. Thank you so much to Aver Media for sending us this. And that's it. Till next time, guys. Hope this video was helpful for you. And yeah, till next time. Keep on gaming.